Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Assassin's Creed 3, video game, thoughts. I am going to be needing the cell of notes yet again. So, Haytham turned out to be a Templar. Yeah, I did not want to spoil this in the main review for obvious reasons. That was quite a nice surprise. And I do like that they they didn't really say he was an assassin, he just used some of their methods. And just, I, I guess, it does make me wonder if the, the slaver guy that you killed, that the Haytham killed, was he an assassin or was he like a rogue assassin? Was he not an assassin at all? Actually, I'm pretty sure, yeah, at least some of what he killed, some of the people he killed must have been assassins. The guy in the theater must have been assassin. Because they follow him and we're like, did you think we could, you could escape us so easily? And yeah, that whole thing. So, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. They never say Assassin or Templar, I think, before he says, you've now joined the Templars. And like, what? It's, yeah, that's pretty cool. And the, the guy you killed, the slave guy, did say something about like, killing people would make the world a better place. And that is what the Assassins think. And, you know, that's really part of the reason why I hesitate to think of them as just the, you know, automatic good guys. I really wish they would definitely more into that. They actually do in this one somewhat. They, there's some moral grace, which is quite nice. Now, I, I, I do think that's a, it's a good twist and, you know, it's an interesting, you know, choice for story that, you know, one of... Desmond's ancestors was a Templar, so it's not just, it's not completely pure, what you want to say, you know, there is a, yeah. And it does open up the problems of Connor using those same, like, almanac pages and same fast travel paths that Haytham opened up. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but yeah. Now, I, and, and the, you know, having our lead be the son of the, the Templar that, you know, is the leader is also quite good. Like, he's, he's trying to undo what his father did. And then we have this, the classical story type of, you know, the, the, yeah, the, the evil father redeemed by his son, which, yeah, I, I, there's a really obvious example that, yeah, everybody knows. If you, okay, spoilers for Star Wars if you haven't watched the original trilogy. You know, Darth Vader and Anne, not Anakin. Luke, you know, is also that. Now, the... Yeah, I do wonder why Haytham could use eagle vision. You know, did he defect from the Brotherhood or... yeah. And it's, it's a nice subversive shift of perspective, I like that. I, I, I couldn't help but wonder when he was being, like, you know, when they had the ceremony. Is Charles Lee being inducted into the, the Templar Order, or is he being married to Haytham? You know, you've got the, he's saying, I do, puts a ring on his finger. And, you know, people like Haytham being on the Templar side, that's why the Assassins haven't won the war yet. You know, you've got people like him evening out the odds. Let's see. When... When you were in prison as Connor, and, like, the, the game literally told you, go ahead and go to sleep, you know, go to the bunk. I guess they missed doing that, you know, from, back from the first game. And... I find it kind of funny how Haytham and Connor arguing, basically 
boils down to them both going, no, you're killing the wrong people. I really could not stand how you could just easily walk into, right into Abstergo with no problems. It's, you know, he's, he's even got, he's got the, the clear assassin thing, even if he wasn't wearing the, the hood. And, and he's got, everyone can tell that this is an assassin. And yeah, he just, he even kills the doctor with no problems. And it's a huge anti-climax, you know, he does it extremely easily. And you just, you wonder, why didn't they do it sooner? And it, oh yeah, it's, it's one of those, ah, oh, he was so emotionally driven, that's why it worked, because he wanted to get his father back. It's just, it is still extremely easy. And I, I also have to wonder why Abstergo did not have non-human defenses, seeing as how they know that assassins are able to take out people and that they now have one of the pieces of Eden, one of the apples. They've known about the pieces of Eden for a while. Why don't they have non-human defenses like a, you know, a, a drone that uses like laser targeting, scanning something to, to see him and then shoots like, I don't know, what's it called? Sleeping dart things into the, the, the target, you know, a super villainy comic book cell that locks around him, something that he actually can't deal with. You know, even when they lock him in the elevator, he's just easily out of there. And the, yeah, it, it just really makes it look, makes, makes Abstergo look weak. You know, how, how on earth do they control the world with, like this? He didn't even pull out the, the apple until the end. Why, why was the doctor so stupid? Vidic, it just, you know, gives the apple. Okay, here you go. What did you think was going to happen? Again, why not have some kind of machine that would... I know, if it cut off his arm with some, uh, his hand with some sort of laser, then he can't use the apple once he, you know, has it out then you can get it back from him. But just asking him to hand over this extremely powerful weapon that you don't have defenses against. I also do have to wonder why the guards at Absurgo are using the focus pistols from multiplayer. And I call them that because clearly they have to take a long time before they can fire even one shot and then wait before they can fire again. Why? Why not? They, they could have some machine guns. Are they trying to avoid killing him? If so, why are they using handguns at all? At one point, I took a point-blank shot to the chest. There was like blood all the way down Desmond's shirt. Nothing came of it. It just, I kept right on walking. I didn't even try to, to win, and yet I never got killed or anything. In the, it just, yeah. No. Yeah, maybe use large nets to, you know, to stop him. And, and like a net that he couldn't cut through with the thing, I, I don't know, but the, the nets that the Predator uses, those seem pretty darn strong. Now, and, and with, with the gun thing, I think it would be awesome if they had, again, maybe it could be the thing that I mentioned in the review of just ducking that, you know, jump him to the ground at the exact right moment, or maybe they would fire at you with automatics, and it would be you just running around, you know, staying far away from them, trying to find an area that they're not covering properly, and maybe just making runs for it whenever they slow down to reload and stuff like that. Maybe some kind of, you know, QTE thing where you could dodge some of the bullets if you accomplish this really challenging QT, something like that, but nothing. Let's see. Only in the prison did Connor really take any crap for being, you know, part Native American. I mean, they call him like half-breed, and I, I agree that those would probably be people, you know, who would do so, but again, I just wonder why it didn't happen and all for the rest. I just, is it, maybe I'm too cynical or something, but 
some of the people around, like in in the cities, could maybe like be ah, he's a little, you know just maybe you had to prove yourself somehow or something. But yeah, let's see. And the the execution of Connor was not tense at all. It it was a little clever how they showed you know off in the background like you heard someone, you saw you know, a pair of feet, s stuff like that. But just it it really wasn't. Effective. I never thought for a second he was going to die. And then just, I think they should, I, I know that it wouldn't be historically accurate, at least I think it wouldn't, but if they used a guillotine, I think that would be much more intense and fun if, like, you see the guillotine come towards the, the camera, towards the viewer, and then just in the nick of time, the, the, you, you fall downwards, you know, the, it collapses under you. And, you know, the, the blade is there, having reached the, you know, the, the edge, but you're past the edge, something like that. Oh. The, the multiplayer with all those fake ads for Abstergo products, if you would all take it seriously, it, it just, it fall apart completely. I mean, they're, they're all very creepy to begin with, whether or not you watch the hacked version, you know, it, I feel like they're they're exaggerating to avoid commenting on the the very real extreme state of consumerism that we are in today. They, you know they don't want to excuse me they they don't want they don't really want to control but they do want as much money as they possibly can usually regardless of the consequences to other human beings. You know I can't see people actually buying powder to put into drinking water. It looks like drugs! You know, so, some sci-fi thing that absorbs through the skin of your baby. I don't see very many mothers going along with that. You know, it, they could just point out some ridiculous, like, bottled water. They could say, buy Abstergo bottled water, and then you will, for sure, you know, that already exists and is ridiculously expensive because it's you could just drink tap water, but you know it's it's pretty clear they don't really want to, you know. And and some some medications. I'm I'm not some kind of you know. I don't think medicine is this big conspiracy, but there are some drugs which basically you don't really need to use. You 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 could get the same effect from just like I, I mean if I have the flu, I'm not gonna take. I don't know, maybe it would have some effect, but I'm just gonna stick with, you know, warm milk and bed rest. I don't need to take a drug to, you know, you know, but, you know, obviously, conversely, if, you know, if there is some kind of, you know, when I was a child, I used cough syrup. I, there, there are various things that, I don't get sick a lot, sorry, I, I don't know a lot of drugs that, but, but, yeah. Some drugs, obviously, we should take, but just, you know, there, there are also some that don't have effect. But, yeah, the game isn't really trying to focus on that, it's just trying to appeal to people who feel, you know, I've already mentioned that obviously this series is very much aimed at conspiracy theories. That's, that's fine. You know, it's, I don't think there are that many other game series that, I suppose, Deus Ex, and, you know, that has other things as well, but the, this series very much going for the you know, people who ah, there, there's a big truth behind it all, and there's a big conspiracy, you know, the Templars are still real, and all this stuff. And now they're also, you know, with with the, what's it called, with with both Revelations and this, they have these Abstergo, you know, this, this Abstergo stuff of trying to make it seem like you know, Abstergo is going to control the world in this way, but again, without getting too close to actually commenting on actual, you know, real life stuff. And I, I could comment on that. They probably don't want to do anything about, you know, consumerism and spending money, seeing as how they allow you to bypass level requirements if you pay extra money, if you buy Erudite credits, you know. I have no problem with anyone who does so. I just, yeah, I, I wouldn't personally do it, but, yeah, I, I don't know, I guess if, you know, camped blade.
blame them for trying. And I can imagine that it works. I haven't really looked at any numbers for it. Now, near the end, when you take out the supposed villain, Charles Lee, Connor's arch nemesis returns. Wood that has been damaged by fire. You know, that's, that's really what he's fighting to rid the world of. That, I, I don't even... What exactly was Lee that responsible for? He didn't do anything to the village. That was George Washington, I think. You know, at the, at the beginning, he just kind of... Okay, so, you know, he, he sort of choked a, a kid, and that's not exactly appealing. That was about... Excuse me, and, and yeah, he, he has some of these plots, excuse me, and the like, but I just, yeah, and, and like I said in the review, I didn't realize for the longest time that he was the villain. I thought the game would end with you killing Haytham, and I also thought that that would be, you know, an actual battle, not just one of these really stupid boss battles where up just lure your opponent to this area, and then you can damage him, you know. Connor's badly hurt. Haytham is much better trained anyway, and yeah, it's just this really boring fight, you know. I still maintain that the the basic relationship between, you know, the father-son relationship was done well. I just wish that their, their disagreements had been more substantial than both of them thinking that the other was the one killing the wrong people. Now, that pretty much calls it. Now the, the very ending. I disagree with Desmond that, you know, humans would rise again. There, we've had Stone Ages, we've had the Dark Ages. We're here, you know, it might take many, many years. And, and that's also, there's this sort of idea that because there's a lot of people in the world today that it's automatically better in all ways to live in the world today. It is in many ways, but not in all. It's again just kind of saying, you know, there's, there's some ideal and then there's, you know, this ooh, scary alternative. So he would rather that Juno be the slave master of the entire world, not at all knowing how to defeat her. He just says, we'll find a way to defeat you. You know, you don't know if you can do that. It's, yes, it's, it's an unpleasant choice, and I suppose you could say that it's in part an emotional reason that he chooses to save everyone but himself. And the self-sacrifice is, of course, a, a good character moment. I do agree with Jeremy Johns that it was rushed, rushed through. Anyway, the, yeah, I just don't really see how, how does he expect to be able to take out the, you know, this, this godlike being and, and that also really, it, it doesn't resolve anything at all about the assassins and Templars. I mean, the Templars are basically completely absent from, yeah, they, you know, you only meet them when you leave the, the cave in spite of, yeah, I suppose I shouldn't say that, but yeah, it just, and, and the, you know, the, the cross guy dies, and Vidic dies, anti-climaxes, and it just, especially with Vidic, cross I didn't really care that much about, I, I don't, yeah, anyway. I just don't really see how it... These things go in cycles. Sooner or later, you know, nature is going to be too difficult to, for, for us to live with. It, I, I recently watched a, a video about you know, climate change. I'm not going to go too much into that, but he made a point that a lot of climate change deniers forget. It, it's not about whether we would destroy the Earth, it's about whether we would make it uninhabitable to ourselves, and maybe to a lot of the species living on it, well, some of them. The ones not based on water, and the ones who couldn't adapt. Anyway, 
sooner or later the world is going to be unlivable to human beings. It's, you know, yes, things are going to happen. I don't know, I, didn't, I don't remember all the details of this sun exploding thing, but just, yeah, because, you know, ah, oh, the Mayans predict, no, they didn't. The Mayan calendar ends there, and they didn't make calendars that, so it's, it's the same way that our calendar ends December 31st. Then you go to the store and you buy another one for the next year. It's nothing else. I hate when people make this big deal out of something that's a complete nothing. But anyway, yeah, I just... I don't know. I, I don't find the whole ancient gods thing all that interesting. The Assassin Templar conflict is at least... I don't know, a little more interesting, but... Yeah, and I just also really don't see them ending this story. They just, they, they're going to keep going until they just absolutely can't anymore. I, I'm pretty sure it was said that Assassin's Creed was always planned to be a trilogy. Yeah, and then they made, you know, Brotherhood and Revelations confusing some people about, you know, oh, wait, is this the third one? Is this, you know, and now there's a fourth one on the way. So I guess, I don't know, maybe they're going to do another trilogy or something. Frankly, I... Maybe it'll change, but currently I don't see myself playing more of these unless maybe, I don't know, if, if someone gifted one of the next ones to me, I might not, like, try to have it exchanged for another game, I might not return it, I might actually play it, but I am not putting more money towards this series, and I'm really not, I'm, I'm, I'm done, it's, yeah, it, especially with how, this game, I mean, well, the ending is one thing, but this entire game just... They, they clearly don't want to improve the gameplay. Maybe they don't even think that it's bad, I don't know. Yeah. Signing off. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.